Welcome to a demonstration of EDL, Easy Dolly Control of LED. My name is Johan Sandberg and I will demonstrate easy lighting control of LED in a simulated restaurant environment with Dolly. With easy lighting control, including Dolly among other control methods, I mean a system of simple control modules and LED control gears where grouping and addressing is done manually directly on the devices without the need for advanced computer software. We will demonstrate this in a restaurant environment, Restaurant Da Vinci, which consists of several different lighting groups, where everything is easily and conveniently controlled by central control. The demonstration includes the lighting control functions, the EDL components, the restaurant, easy manual programming of lighting control with DALI, and finally I will show an overview of the results. The demonstration is straightforward and easy, and I will use a light board as the easiest possible way of explaining what I'm talking about. Let's go! Restaurant Da Vinci is controlled by a DALI system with DALI LED control gears. Restaurant Da Vinci has several ways to dim the different lighting groups. Lighting control can be done with ordinary push on the primary side, with switch dot DALI for easy push dimming, with motion dot for presence detection dimming by DALI, with scene dot DALI for setting various lighting scenarios in the restaurant. All these EDL components create the different dimming methods that we desire. Now we shall briefly review the EDL components and their functions. LED control gear is a combination of a LED driver and LED dimmer in one device. LED control gear LCC9 can operate and dim LEDs up to 9 watts and can be placed in a wall box. LCC9 can be set with dip switches for constant current 350, 500 and 700 milliamps, respectively constant voltage 12 and 24 volt. LCC9 is controlled by a momentary push button or a 1 to 10 volt control device and can be used in the DALI system with a converter from DALI to 1 to 10 volt such as multi control module MCMP. LCC60 MCM is a LED control gear with a total power of up to 60 watt divided in two outputs up to 30 watt each. Each output is adjustable by dip switches for constant current 350, 500, 700 and 900 milliamps respectively constant voltage 12 and 24 volt. You can set the two outputs for different LED loads simultaneously. It is controlled by momentary push buttons or 1 to 10 volt controls. LCC60 MCM is also executed with DALI bus and DMX inputs. In a DALI or DMX system, each output can be controlled individually. LCC60 MCM is not dependent on control equipment of a specific brand. It is compatible with DALI and DMX controllers from any manufacturer such as Helvar or Tridonic. MCMP is a converter of DALI or DMX signals to 0 to 10 or 1 to 10 volt and provides common 0 to 10 or 1 to 10 volt dimmable devices such as LED drivers or electronic ballasts for fluorescence lamps with DALI and DMX control. MCMP is also compatible with DALI and DMX controllers from any manufacturers. MCMP can be placed in a standard wall box. Bus dot is an example of a power supply unit for the DALI bus. Switch dot enables dimming up and down and provides an interface between a standard momentary push button and the DALI bus. For example, a double switch connected to the control modules dims up 
or turns on the light with one button, while the second button dims down or turns the light off. Switch dot can be set to control an individual device, a group of devices, or all devices on the DALI bus. Motion dot is an interface between regular presence sensor or motion detector and the DALI bus. The time delay is controlled by the motion detector. By presence, lighting is activated to 100% and in absence, lighting is set in a standby mode. Standby mode can be adjusted from fully off to 75% brightness. Motion dot can be set to control a group of devices or all devices on the DALI bus. Scene dot enables the function to store and recall up to four scenarios. Scene dot is an interface between a momentary push button and the DALI bus. Four buttons can be connected to the module, one for each scenario. For achieving the best results, using a 4-channel low-volt switch is recommended. Restaurant Da Vinci has several different lighting groups. It has an area of about 500 square meters with a total installed power of about 1000 watt LED. The restaurant has a total of 7 different lighting groups, each regulated and controlled separately. Now I will describe some of these groups. Lighting Group 1 window is controlled by two LED control gears LCC9 and one multi-control module MCMP DALI to 1 to 10 volt converter. The zone is controlled by DALI scenario from the bar or entrance. Lighting group 3 VC is controlled by one piece of LED control gear LCC30. The zone is controlled by motion detectors. Lighting group 6, the bar, is controlled by two LED control gears LCC60 MCM, including lighting over the bar and the ceiling lights. The zone is controlled by DALI scenarios from the entrance or bar. Lighting group 7, kitchen, is controlled by two LED control gears LCC30 and four LCC60. The zone is controlled by a momentary push button. We now assume that the DALI bus is installed and ready and that all other EDL components are installed. Important! In order to program and set the various functions, we first need to address all LED control gears on the DALI bus. The easiest way is to set the DALI address and possibly the group manually using the rotary switches on the side of the LED control gear. The first rotary switch sets the group the LED control gear should belong to. The address for the first output is set by the second and third rotary switch. Second rotary switch sets the 10 figure and the third rotary switch sets the 1 figure. Second output gets the set address plus 1. For example, to set address 10 for output 1, Set the secondary rotary switch to 1 and the third rotary switch to 0. Second output will now automatically get address 11. In order to control several units together in a group, you must also set the group to which the LED control gear must belong to. If you want the LED control gear to belong to group 1, set the first rotary switch to 1. Now the LED control gear belongs to group 1 and output 1 has address 10 and output 2 has address 11. If address 10 is controlled, the only output that responds is number 1. If address 11 is controlled, the only output that responds is number 2. If group Number 1 is controlled, output number 1 and 2 will react simultaneously. If there are several LED control gears set to the same group, all LED control gears are controlled simultaneously. All addressing and grouping can also be done from a computer if desired. Now let's set the modules. 
In order for the switch.module to know which LED control gear it shall control, the address of the LED control gear is set with the rotary switch on the back of the switch.module. In this case we want to control the device number 14. The first rotary switch sets the tens and the second rotary switch the singular. That's it. One button dims up and turns on while the other button dims down and turns off. The motion.module communicates with a group of devices. We earlier created group 1 which we now want to control. The group number is set with the left rotary switch on the back of the control module. The standby level is set with the right rotary switch. In this case 1 is set which corresponds to 10% dimming level. In order for the scene.module to store scenarios for all LED control gears on the bus, the left rotary switch is set in position 8 at the back of the control module. In order to memorize for example all off on function button 1, all lighting groups are first manually switched off with each unit's individual control. When all the lights are off, button number 1 is pressed for 10 seconds. Confirmation of stored scenario will be displayed by lighting flashing. To memorize for example all on function on button number 2, all lighting groups are first manually lit on with each unit's individual control. You can of course also set the desired dimming level if you do not want full illumination in some zones. When all the lighting is set to desired levels, button number 2 is pressed during 10 seconds. That's it. Button number 1 recalls scenario all off. Button number 2 recalls scenario all on. Time to sum up. We have now shown easy light control with Vadsbus DALI components and LED lighting in a restaurant environment. We have shown EDL components light control functions and programming and now the results four different scenarios are pre-programmed when we arrive all lights are off in the restaurant and we press the scenario button for arrival the parts of the restaurants we will walk through in order to prepare the restaurant for opening lights up most of the lighting groups are arranged for joint control through the scenario mode function. Standby levels at 10% brightness is set in the toilets which by present lights up to 100%. When it's time to open we press the open button. When it's time to go for the day we simply use the turn all off button. When the cleaning staff arrives they press the cleaning button. And when the cleaning is finished, they will press the all light off button. I hope this has generated interest for Vardspo's EDL system, easy dolly control of LED. Thank you.